Hello and welcome to this Google Sheets tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video, I'm going to show you multiple ways to insert bullet points in Google Sheet. Now, the method that you use will depend on the kind of data that you have. And I have multiple methods here. So you have a copy paste method, keyboard shortcut formula and a custom format method. So I'm going to show you four ways of inserting bullet points in Google Sheets. Now, the first one is simply copy pasting the bullet point. So in case you have a bullet point which is on a web page or in an Excel workbook or a Google Sheet, then you can simply copy that bullet and insert it in the one where you want it. So for example, in this case, I have this tutorial and I have these bullet points here and I can simply copy this bullet point from here. So I select this, I press Control C, I come back here. I double click on the cell to get into the edit mode and I simply paste it here. Now, this is a very straightforward method. If you have to do it for only a few items or few cells, then you can easily copy paste it. And this is not just true for a bullet point. This is also true for any other kind of symbol. For example, if you want to do this with a check mark, then you can do that as well. And once you have the bullet point, you can actually type whatever you want. In this case, let's say I'm typing item one or whatever text that you want to type, you can type it after the bullet point. So the easiest method is using copy paste. Uh, the second method is using a keyboard shortcut. And this method works only if you have a numeric keypad on your keyboard. So if you have uh, a separate keypad, a numeric keypad, which is usually on the right of the keyboard. If you do not have this, then you cannot use this keyboard shortcut. But you, if you have this, then it's really easy. You simply go to the cell where you want to insert the bullet point, get into the edit mode so you can either double click or you can use the keyboard shortcut F2. And now when you are in the edit mode, you see the cursor blinking, you hold the Alt key and you press the 7 key. And as soon as you do this, it will insert this bullet point and then you can type whatever you want. And you can also do this for multiple lines in the same cell and obviously in multiple cells also. So for example, if I want item 2 in the same cell, then I would hold the Alt key, press Enter to bring me to the next line and then hold the Alt key and press 7 and then I can type item 2. Or if you want it in a separate cell, you simply get into the edit mode, press Alt 7 and type the third one. Uh, you can also use a formula which is usually useful in case you want to quickly convert uh, a list into a bulleted list. So for example, in this case, I have these items and what I want to do is quickly convert these into bullet points. So I want a bullet point before each of these uh, items and I can do that using a formula and that formula is the care function. Now the care function takes a number and, con and gives you the corresponding character from the Unicode table. So it takes this number, which for bullet point is 8226. Now, when I use this formula and see what happens when I hit enter, it inserts the bullet point because it, this formula returns the character for uh, the code 8226. Now I can use this and combine this with other cells as well. So for example, if I type ampersand, so I'm combining different cells and combining a cell value with the bullet point. I have to say I need a space then ampersand again and this cell here and see what it gives me. It gives me this value with a bullet point on the left of it and I can quickly do this for all these cells and I have my bulleted list. Now if you at this point in time it has a formula but if you want this to be a static list so that it doesn't change if I make changes anywhere else you can simply copy this and you can paste it as value here or you can simply overwrite and paste it here also and then delete this one. So you instantly have a bulleted list with a formula. Now this works really well if you have a huge lists and you want to quickly convert these lists into bullet points, then you can use a formula. And the last method that I want to show you is custom format. And this is an amazing method. And what I'm trying to do in this case is as soon as I type something here and I hit enter, I want a bullet point to appear automatically. I don't want to use a keyboard shortcut or a formula. I just want that bullet point to appear automatically. So you can do that. And to do that, I'm going to select a range of cells where I want this to happen so that as soon as I enter anything in any of these selected cells, uh, a bullet point appears. Now I would go to data here, sorry, format here, and I would hover the cursor over number and then I would go to more formats and click on custom number format. 
And when I click on this, it allows me to specify the format that I want in the cell. This means that I can choose how I want the text in the cell to look like. Now, as of now, it, it has an, uh, an at the rate sign, which means that it would show me whatever text is actually there in the cell. But I can change this as well. So I can change this to a bullet point and an at the rate sign. Now, if you do not have this here already, what you can do is copy the bullet point from somewhere else. So let's say in this case, I would copy the bullet point from here, paste it here and apply and see what happens instantly it gives me this cell with the text where the there is a bullet point automatically inserted but see what happens now if i type anything here let's say i give two and i hit enter it automatically inserts the bullet point so i do not have to do anything it simply inserts this bullet point here and the good thing about this method is that it is not changing the value in the cell so if i select this here you can see it still says item one in the formula bar this is because the value of the cell still remains item one it is only the way it is being shown changes so it just changes the way it looks to me but the value still remains whatever you had entered in the cell so this is a great method if you quickly want to create a bulleted list you can simply use this and it will automatically give you these bullet points before anything that you enter in the cell so these are the four methods that you can use to insert bullet points in google sheets I hope you found this video useful and if you want to continue to get videos such as this on Google Sheets tips, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you and have a nice day.